Hello, um, the 8th of January, the second meeting of this year, um, and we're now recording. So may you be blessed with your day. May, me, may you be given courage and willingness to persevere. And in a sense, that's why I want to uh, reflect on um, all sorrow and sighing will pass away. I think that's what it is, will flee away. And I think that quote comes from um, the last book of the of the Bible. Um, and what Jesus was saying in that, what was John was saying in that, is about the New Jerusalem. And at the moment, we can't turn our minds, our hearts away from the reality of the difficulties that are happening in the world. Um, they are happening. Um, but we really, if we're Christians, we need to allow Christ to come deep, 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 deep into us and bring all that is in the dark to the light. Because when we see things through his eyes, we do not despair. We do not um, give up. And <laughs> he says um, at some point, um, those who endure will be saved. Now, that means that we hang on to our faith in Christ. And even when, as I today, I was found myself, I was praying early, early hours and then woke up and had this sort of like a knot in my head. And um, I've persevered with what I needed to do. And I've been out and confirmed that the art exhibition is going to go ahead because the People who've currently got an exhibition in the place are going to take it down. So that that's confirmed. But I sense this whole mystery of we're not always going to feel the peace and the joy of Christ, but we act as if. And so what came to light in me was the awareness of this very damaged, rational part of my mind, which had no faith in, in, in Jesus. And we need to be willing to face these things and, if you like, evangelize ourselves. Evangelize this bit of the mind. Do you want to remain alone and hopeless with no help? Do you want to remain alone with your own rational thoughts without the love and the care of, and, and blessing of God the Father? No. So there is a, a transformation going on. And we can do that both with ourselves and with other people. Through Christ and the Holy Spirit, we have unity. You and I have unity. I'm not talking to myself because, I mean, I am, I'm, I'm always preaching to myself, if you see what I mean, but I, I believe and trust in the fact that this is being recorded and it goes out and people respond. So we really, really, really need to keep trusting, even when we're in a dark place, even when it seems that things are going wrong, we still praise God because that lifts our <clears throat> nervous system to a position where we can see, hear, taste and touch that that is good. And then we can praise God. Then we can worship. But if we've got enough faith, if we simply start praising our, system, our nervous system changes of its own volition because instead of grumbling, 
trying to seek control. We are leaning on God. We are praising. We are finding unity with other people and in ourselves. So I just urge you, consider what Christ says at, well, yes, through John in the um, in Revelation. I think it's Revelation 22 where it talks about the New Jerusalem. So persevere. Persevere. And keep praising. So it's not grit of tooth and suffering. It's, yet I will praise you, Lord. Why be downcast, O my soul? Why be suffering, O my mind? Yet I will praise you, Lord. Because we are not God, and the mystery of God's kingdom is only revealed to a little child who has total trust and looks to the Father and stands confidently with the grace that he or she is given. So let's become as little children and trust that all sorrow and sighing will flee away. So let's pray and um, just need to get this ready. Oh dear. Right, let's share screen. Okay. Right, not sure what happened to that. Again. Right. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present, filling all things, Treasury of blessings and giver of life, Come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every stain, and, O oh good one, save our souls. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. So we're praying for the people of the world, all the suffering people of the world, all those aware of the threats, the worldly threats, the spiritual threats at personal and community and country and in the world. But we are praying. We are praying for the Holy Spirit. 
We are praying for the promises of God to seep through the darkness, to pierce the despair, and for people to praise and trust and seek the word of God. So I pray for all women within the church and for women who have no apparent faith or trust in God, but are seeking the good. And for men who are in the church and those who have no apparent faith or trust in God. And yet they're seeking. So Lord, I pray for your Holy Spirit, for your words of truth, whether they come from the Bible or anywhere else, your words of truth that lead people to your grace, to your trust, to your humility, to your love and your holiness. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. And we pray for families, for health, harmony and faith in God's provision. Lord, I pray that whatever age the people are in the family, there is mutual respect, mutual love, mutual blessing, and an expectation of that in communication and grace, in behavior and love, forgiveness, blessing. I pray for that, Lord, in all those who are living in the same household, that there is mutual respect and a mutual give and take and an honoring of those who have responsibility. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. We pray for, family, for the communities and all those with any kind of position of authority within them. I pray, Lord, for that mutuality of give and take. And when people want um, want to be honoured, want to be blessed, that they take on board the responsibility of that and the humility and the grace in your name. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. And we pray for churches and the worldwide church and all those with leadership positions. Lord, we are all answerable to you. I pray for the leadership. That there may be humility and love, forgiveness, and endurance of suffering, and a, a wisdom beyond the law to communicate in love, respect, gentleness, and mutuality. Lord, I pray for all women in the church that they may seek your face, your voice, your spirit, and they may stand and yet stand, even in suffering, but to stand in righteousness and love, forgiveness and forbearance, and prayer and blessing for their abusers. And I pray for all authority, that there is great humility before you, that they may be blessed and upheld and led through your spirit to the greater glory of God. In Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. And we pray for our countries. Lord, I pray for righteousness in all country 
I pray for the the um the overcoming of sin and division. I pray against all right um unrighteousness, all partiality which oppresses and abuses. Lord, you've given us leadership. You've given people the responsibility. Lord, may they take on board your ways and the purposes for which they're given the positions they have. Lord, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Lead us into all righteousness, that whatever the country, whoever they are, however rich or poor they are, that you may bless them because they are acting in righteousness, in love, in truth, in perseverance. Lord, I pray for mercy. One country to another. I pray for righteousness for the poor. I pray, Lord, for your purity to wipe out all divisions because of race or or um, or religion. Lord, may your will be done in every country. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. And we pray for all our enemies at personal, family, community, church, or national level. Lord, have mercy on us. We so need to do things your way. As you were on the cross, you prayed, Father, forgive them, they know not what they do. May we too do that, Lord. We can't do this without you. We really can't. Give us courage and will to do that. Give us a mind that accepts your ways and doesn't fight, but surrenders to your grace and truth. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. May we grow in love and obedience to your commandments. May your light shine ever more purely in our hearts, that your grace sets us free to live to your praise and glory, standing for your light. In Jesus' name, amen. Ah. feeling that you couldn't see that, but never mind. Dear souls, things don't always go right. But yet I will praise you, Lord. Yet I will trust you. And I pray my blessings on everyone who wills to listen and to pray for the world. I'm going to stop the recording now. <laughs>